Do you still remember this video? What happened to Cisco DevNet and Cisco Cyber Ops certifications? So it wasn't an unbiased opinion by myself that both tracks didn't leave the hype. You know what's funny? Cisco consistently used acronyms. We have CCNA, CCNP, CCIE, CCDE, and CCSD. And before, they had CCSP, CCIP, CCVP, CCDP, etc. Then suddenly, oh, let's copy what AWS is doing. Full certification names, no acronyms. Let's call these certifications Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate and Professional because no one's calling it CCCA and CCCP <laughs> because it sounds too funny and ridiculous. And let's call these certifications Cisco Certified DevNet Associate and Professional. No one's calling these CCDA and CCDP because these certification names are already taken for the design track. In this video, let's dive into the brilliantly mysterious art of Cisco certification naming, where logic takes a coffee break and acronyms rule the land. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location, like nice video Dean from Guatemala, Maldives, Dominican Republic. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from Charlotte, Marcial's, Surabaya, etc. I'm here now at Cisco Learning Network page. And the title of this article is A New Era for Cisco Certification. So the first highlight here is network careers in the age of AI, network automation, and cybersecurity. So we're expecting these tracks to be introduced soon. Well, basically, AI is new. Network automation and cybersecurity is already existing. And uh, let's scroll down. So there you go. DevNet certifications evolving to CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE automation. So this was the current or the original badge, uh, associate professional and expert. Now the future. Actually, it's not the future because this is the same batch of any CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE. You just added automation as a track or um, specialization. So, um, to be honest, I like the DevNet batch or the design better than CCNA, CCNP, CCIE. Uh, all right, so this is it. It's just simply changing the name. They dropping DevNet and they're moving back. To acronyms CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE. Right? Um, it will be launched February 3 of 2026. So we are more than half of a year away. Okay. Um, now for collaboration certifications, they're saying that there's a new specialist certification, but who's still taking collaboration track for cybersecurity certifications? Again, same with DevNet, they're dropping. Well, actually, they're not dropping because we or they already dropped Cyber Ops name. The, the terminology is not used by Cisco anymore. They changed it to cybersecurity a few months back. Instead, they are moving away from the full certification name or the long format. They're moving back to acronyms, CCNA and CCNP. Oh, there's no CCIE. Yes. Cisco, we are waiting. When will you introduce the expert level of cyber ops or cybersecurity? Okay, so the future of networking is intelligent. Be ready. Okay, uh, I wonder when they will release the AI track. I'm not sure if you are aware that DevNet and cyber ops terminologies are introduced by Cisco. Yeah, they invented those two terminologies and they expected people will get it easily. Let me explain. DevNet stands for Developer Network. They wanted a better version of DevOps because DevOps development operations focuses on many teams and technologies. So under Dev, it's not just development. It also includes databases, uh, the developer side, front end, mid end, and back end developer or development. Uh, version control is also included and software QA testing as well. 
and under operations. These are not just compute-related technologies like virtualization, containers, Linux. No, it also includes storage and networking. And Cisco was like, no, network should be the spotlight. So they created this terminology, DevNet. Only Cisco uses it. And for CyberOps, CyberOps stands for Cyber Security Operations. Before, it's just security implementation and security operations. You know, suddenly, around 2010s, people calling it cybersecurity. And that cybersecurity that we know, it was really called information security. Think about this. CISSP certification by ISE squared launch. Yeah, launched this certification back in 1994. And this is originally centered around information security. What is the um, acronym CISSP stands for? Certified Information System Security Professional. See, there's no cybersecurity. They only used cybersecurity terminology again around mid of 2010s. Anyway, Cisco, they didn't like cybersecurity terminology. They didn't like security operations as well. And their existing CCNA, CCNP, CCI security focus on implementation and architecture. So what Cisco did is, let's make it original. Let's call it CyberOps, a combination of cybersecurity and security operations. Again, CyberOps stands for cybersecurity operations. You know what really happened? CyberOps and DevNet. Many people don't really get what it means. So Cisco is like, let's use the more common terminologies, cybersecurity and automation. Also, take note that Cisco Cyber Ops used to be CCNA Cyber Ops, then became Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate, then became Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate, then in few months, it will become CCNA Cybersecurity. CCNA Cyber Ops changed its name to Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate in February of 2020. So imagine this. In just around six years, this poor certification went through more identity crises than a teenager in high school. It's like, who am I today? Oh, I am CCNA. No, I am Cyber Ops Associate. No. I am cybersecurity associate. No, I am Tyler Durden. Please, someone give me a permanent badge. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. It changed names four times in six years. And if it changed again, we might need version control just to track its identity. What are you thinking, Cisco?